Hello friends, I am Anvesha and I welcome all of you to this channel. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon to get notified for the upcoming videos. So in the past few videos, I have seen that the number of views has dropped drastically. Uh, if you are not interested in this series, please let me know. I will not uh, spend my time uh, making the videos, right? But uh, let me tell you, this series is going to be very helpful for you if you want to, uh, you know, brush up your grammar skills or even if you are, are at level zero. This series is going to be very helpful because here every day I will be discussing 10 important grammar rules and, uh, and because you will be learning in, in an incremental manner every day you will be learning uh, 10 just 10 rules it will be uh, easier for you even to remember them so let's uh, start the video also you will get the pdf of this session on my telegram channel the link is given in the description box don't forget to join my telegram channel okay we is going to conduct a free mock test for rbi assistant examination there will be 30 questions and the time duration will be 50 minutes so in this test you have a chance of winning exciting gifts and also this test is mainly focused on rbi assistant exams so the test is on 30th january at 10 am the links are given in the description box and uh, the test is available on both android app and web and also the test is available in both english and hindi languages so for enrolling don't forget using the coupon code annie because while enrolling uh, you will have to use an invite code so please use the invite code annie and here you can see you can win samsung mobile phone and also amazon gift vouchers also depending on your rank the gifts or the prizes will be decided and uh, you can win amazing prizes within one hour of completing your test okay so only two days are left to go what are you waiting for this is a really great opportunity not only for winning prizes but for your practice okay so rule number one for today if you haven't watched the previous videos of this series please go and watch them uh, the videos are under the playlist important grammar rules this is the fourth part so rule number one is what <coughs> if absent is <coughs> sorry if absent is used as a verb reflexive pronoun is used what are reflexive pronouns in the previous video we have seen that okay so Seema was absent in the meeting and Seema absented herself okay so here Seema was absent now this one is an adjective okay it is telling you the it is uh, it is telling you uh, Seema was what Seema was absent in the meeting now Seema absented herself this is a verb this is a verb and, and therefore you have to use the reflexive pronoun herself next rule number two now this rule is regarding personal pronouns okay what are personal pronouns i we you he she they it these are personal pronouns first person is i and we first person is someone who does the speaking okay i or we is the first person we is for plural now the person this is the speaker speaker is the first person the person standing just in front of the speaker that is the listener listener is the second person okay you is the second person fine and there is one more person who is not present in the scenario that person is third person he she or they they is used for plural okay it is used for non-living things animals plants infants and and as an introductory subject what is introductory subject it is raining so here it is what an introductory subject okay so it is five o'clock it is what introductory subject okay now 
the rule starts from here the rule says when there are more than one personal pronouns present in a sentence and the sentence is a positive sentence and the pronouns are singular positive sentence singular pronouns okay in that case you have to follow the rule 231 the code is 231 two means second person second person will come at first you third person then she first person i you she and i are going to the park okay then he and i are going to the park now suppose one is missing suppose uh, the second person is missing then you have to again follow the same three one okay he and i suppose three is missing then two and one two and one two and one you and i okay now if you are talking about a negative sentence if you if your sentence is negative like guilty guilty is a negative thing negative sentence in that case you have to follow the rule one two three i you and he are guilty okay if plural pronouns are present in that case again the rule is one two and three okay we you and they will go for a movie very easy rule number three how to identify an adjective in a sentence just ask these questions what kind how many which and how much what are adjectives adjectives are words that modify or qualify nouns and pronouns qualify nouns and pronouns in a sentence okay so what kind how many which and how much these are the questions if you ask uh, the answer to the questions will be an adjective ram is an honest man ram is what kind of a man honest so honest is an adjective there are five boys in the room how many boys how many boys in the room five five is an adjective the first book on the shelf is mine which book first first is an adjective i drank a little milk how much milk a little a little is an adjective the questions should be asked to the noun okay <coughs> next rule 4 says listen there are two kinds of adjective of number okay one is cardinal another is ordinal cardinal tells you the exact number like 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 and so on these are cardinal adjectives i have four books how many books four this is a cardinal adjective and ordinal adjective tells you the order like first second third fourth fifth and so on till last okay these are ordinal adjectives fine the first book on the shelf is mine which book the first book this one is ordinal adjective <coughs> the third girl in the queue the third girl in the queue is my sister so here this one is ordinal adjective okay now the rule says if ordinal and cardinal <clears throat> both are present in a sentence then the ordinal should come before the cardinal okay the two first lessons of this book are interesting this one is wrong because two is cardinal and first is ordinal so this is wrong oc oc is the code ordinal then cardinal so the first two lessons of this book are interesting okay <clears throat> this one is correct next rule number five rule number five says that article the is used before ordinal adjective but not before cardinal there are the four houses in the row this is wrong because four is cardinal and before cardinal the is not used okay before ordinal the is used the first chapter of this book is an important lesson for your exam here first is what ordinal adjective ordinal and that's why the has come before it next rule number six many much few and little here many and few are used for countable nouns much and little are used for uncountable nouns one more thing many and few are little are used for countable plural nouns okay i read dash books books is what countable plural so here many should be used how dash milk did you drink milk is what milk is uncountable noun that's why much has been used how much milk i have dash friends friends is what 
countable plural so few i have few friends he drank dash milk milk is what uncountable nouns so a little milk next rule number 7 what is the difference difference among few a few and the few sheila has seven books she mohan has two books so let me tell you few is few has a negative sense okay a few has a positive sense so when you are uh, saying when you are um, giving the quantity when you are giving the quantity then few is less than a few please remember this sheila has seven books mohan has two books so seven books is all right it is satisfactory so sheila has a few books mohan has two books so mohan has few books few means almost negligible almost negligible almost zero so mohan has few books but please remember few a few these are both used for plural if she uh, suppose mohan has one book in that case you cannot say mohan has few books few books okay you cannot say that because few is used for more than one plural understood now the few the few means what the few is used when all that you have you consider all of them and say something the few books i purchased have been stolen so i purchased only three books which is not many i purchased only three books which is not many but all the books have been stolen so here i'm considering all the few books i purchased have been stolen similarly similar is the difference between little a little and the little the same difference okay fine little a little and the little are used for uncountable nouns few a few and the few are used for countable nouns okay i have saved a little money for my tuition fee okay i have saved a little money money is uncountable please remember this one is very important money is uncountable but dollars rupees are countable okay i have saved a little money for my tuition fee this is one example the next example is i have little money to buy groceries so this means almost negligible probably i have 100 rupees 100 bucks left for buying groceries okay the little money i had the little money i had have been spent on my clothes okay in this way you have to use next rule 8 these and those these are uh, these and those are used for plural and this and that are used for singular also one more difference is there these and this are used when distance is less i'll tell you the meaning those and that are used when distance is more okay suppose i'm standing over here and here there are some books okay in that case i will say those books are mine okay now suppose i'm standing over here and here are some pens distance is less so i'll say these pens are mine okay suppose i'm standing over here and here is a mobile phone in that case i'll say so distance is less this mobile phone is mine 
Now suppose I am standing over here and here there is a water bottle. Distance is more so that bottle is mine. Fine. Now please look at this uh, difference as well. Those is used for plural. There are three books. So those. There are three pens. So these. There is only one mobile phone. So this. There is only one water bottle. So that. Okay. Now these dresses are expensive. These is what? Adjective. Because it is followed by a noun. Demonstrative adjective. Okay. This is followed by a noun. Those are naughty boys. Not followed by a noun. Noun is not present immediately after. So this is what? A demonstrative pronoun. That is a Persian cat. Noun is not present. So this is what? Pronoun. Demonstrative pronoun. That cat is mine. Noun is present. Cat is a noun. So this is what? Demonstrative adjective. Rule number 9. Difference between each and every. Very important rule. So what is the difference? Each can act both as an adjective and as a pronoun. Every can act only as an adjective. Example, each of the girls is intelligent. Each girl is intelligent. Every girl is intelligent every of the girls is intelligent okay here each of the girls so after each noun is not present so each here has been used as a pronoun and this is correct after each noun is present so here each has been used as an adjective correct Every girl, after every noun is present, so every has been used as an adjective, correct. After every noun is not present, so every has been used as a pronoun and this is incorrect because every can be used only as an adjective, okay. Now, the next difference is what? Each is used for two and more than two things. Every is used only for more than two things, okay. Now, I wore anklets in I wore anklets in each ankle next I wore anklets in every ankle I wore anklets in each ankle I wore anklets in every ankle now there are only two ankles present right and you know each can be used for two and more than two things. But every can be used only for more than two things. Okay. So our second sentence, I wore anklets in every ankle is incorrect. We cannot use every with ankle because there are only two ankles present. Okay. So this one is incorrect. But the first sentence is correct. I wore anklets in each ankle is correct. Okay. You can say I wore rings in every finger because we have five fingers so here we can use every also we can say i wore rings in each finger okay next rule number 10 so when you make comparison there are three degrees Positive, comparative and superlative. Okay. In positive degree, actually there is no comparison. You just specify the quality. Ram is a good student. Okay. Here you are specifying what kind of a student is Ram. Just the quality. You are not making any comparison. When you make comparison between two things or two animals or two people, then you have to use comparative degree. Ram is a better student than Sham. And while uh, making a comparison, while using comparative degree, we use than. So than is used in comparative degree, not in superlative degree. 
not in positive degree okay ram is a better student than shyam in superlative degrees what are superlative degrees uh, when we make comparison among many many means more than two here we are talking about more than two okay in that case we use superlative degree ram is the best student of my class so in my class there are many students and ram is the best among them okay tomorrow we will learn how to change from positive degree to comparative and superlative degree so i will give you some set of rules and uh, following those rules you can easily change adjectives from their compar uh, positive to comparative and superlative degrees so here i will end the video today i hope you have enjoyed uh, please share the video with your friends and uh, please join my telegram channel to get the pdf of this session 